Hey guys, sorry this episode is a couple days late. I have not really had any Wi-Fi. But in this episode of Lady K Sailing, we have one last adventure with RJ before he flies out. Then we do some solo work getting up the Chesapeake Bay. And then we have one really, really terrible night. All right, so we've got another guy out here sailing right here. And uh, we're up wind of him, so we've decided we're gonna go have some fun. We're almost at where we're supposed to be going. We're gonna go full canvas, put the port side rail in the water and charge straight at him to go say hi. by the trees way out of the market channel and I've tried right in the market channel and no matter where I go I always seem to get past 100 feet on my beam by a big 35 or 40 footer at three-quarter throttle throwing like a six or eight foot wake and I don't understand it I've, I'm just I'm at a loss like there's been hundreds and hundreds of them today so um, I have been experimenting with like I'll go over here I'll go over there or when he starts coming I'll turn sideways and see if he freaks out and moves, moves over they don't move they just they come right out the side of your boat um, and 
right beside you and they come right here and they wave at you. And I'm like, dude, you're throwing an eight foot wake. Like I have to turn hard over and put the bow into it. Otherwise I'll get, I'll get beam rocked by it and it'll just break things inside the boat, put a lot of strain on the rig and everything really. Oh, the wind's picking up. I'm at a really narrow part of the Elf River. And of course, right, right the perfect timing is one of these massive Chesapeake Bay cargo ships. Holy moly. You should see these things. They're just very daunting. Hey, it's the garbo. wind is pushing us back that way the tide is pushing us back that way so the anchor actually went out to starboard so I'm gonna give it a little bit of reverse and see if we can set it let's do about 1100 rpm in reverse and see what's up okay you can see we're starting to drag the chain out now So uh, a couple of you said you wanted to see how I get the dinghy on deck on Lady K when I'm going to be doing an ocean passage or it's going to be rough out. Um, this is an opportunity to see that. It's pretty windy outside, so I'm probably going to have to dub some music over the whole thing. Uh, but um, also of note is this is the first time I've done it alone. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's check it out. Hey guys, so um, if you follow on Facebook or Instagram or saw any of the short videos a while back, I am currently on the Delaware Bay, um, grabbed a crab pot with the prop at some point. Um, 
I don't know, feeling kind of defeated right now. It is uh, 1.30 in the morning. I'm still waiting on tow boat to get here. I dove on the prop. Um, it is a wire that is wrapped around very, very tightly around the shaft. It's a sail drive boat, so there's a little bit of shaft in between the prop and the sail drive itself, and I can't get it out of there. Um, I don't think wire cutters would cut it, and I can't see anything. And there's a like three knot tidal current, um, so it's not safe to be in the water. Um, it's not safe to be alone in the water. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and I'm drifting very closely, or, or swinging on the anchor, rather. I've got about 150 feet of road out. I'm in 30 or 35 feet of water. Um, it's, it's pretty blowy. It's pretty wavy here on the Delaware. The Delaware gets very stirred up. And I'm very close to the channel, and there's ocean freighters going by every, I don't know, 15 or so minutes. And they make very big wakes, and it rocks the whole boat, and it sort of knocks everything over. So I'm not in a safe situation right now. Um, kind of worried about my own safety, kind of worried about, I guess, intruding on the channel. So yeah, I called, uh, Cito. um, at first they said they could come out of Cape May, which is like 50 miles away or 40 miles away. And it was going to be, um, 450 an hour. So, uh, by the time I got to a marina, we're looking at probably six grand to tow the boat, which is, I mean, I, I might as well sink it right here for six grand. Um, so that wasn't okay, but then I got a hold of somebody else there um, out of Delaware City, which is only 12 miles away, but he's a little bit more than 12 miles away, so he's got to get here first. Whoa, greater wake. Um, wow, really pulling on that anchor. Um, anyway, so that's 350 an hour, so um, all in, uh, this crab pot's probably going to cost me, I don't know, maybe three grand. Um, by the time I get to a marina and get it hauled out and I can deal with the, the wire wrapped around the everything, um, I, I definitely can't deal with it underwater and definitely can't deal with it with a tidal current. It, it's not happening. So um, I said, don't bring a diver because a diver is a lot of money. Just bring me to somewhere with a haul out. I'll haul out and I'll deal with it myself. Um, Lady Kay needs a bath anyway on, on the bottom side. So if I haul out, at least I can get the bottom cleaned gonna cost me a few days and, and a lot of thousands of dollars that I really don't have but um, it is what it is I am where I am um, trying to keep my spirits up um, I had a pretty emotional <laughs> I don't know maybe first hour when I realized how much this was gonna cost and and all that stuff and, and how worried I am about where I am and again it's almost two o'clock in the morning so uh, you know, got all the lights on, everybody can see me, the freighters keep calling me, asking me if I'm in the channel or what my intentions are, and I keep explaining it to them. Um, and they're cool, like I'm not actually in the channel, I'm just very close to it. So they're cool, they keep going by, but they're going by at, you know, 25 knots and, and throwing, I don't know, what's a, what's a full container ship throw, like an 8 foot wake? So I'm getting hit by those constantly. Um, yeah, not in the best of spirits. Um, I appreciate the outpouring on, on Facebook and uh, a couple of you guys have sent some some money and stuff and that's fantastic, thank you. Um, but I don't know, I'm not going to make any big decisions right now, but I, I'm just, I'm in a bad place emotionally about the whole thing and I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do next. I'm, I'm by myself out here and I hate it, I didn't. I didn't, didn't plan to do this trip by myself. And I'm doing it by myself. It's not the way I want to be doing it. And uh, it sucks. Like 50, 60 mile days alone. Anchoring, almost lost the boat off the fuel dock earlier. I guess I haven't told you guys that story, but there was a three knot current on the nose. Nobody to help at the fuel dock. So... Uh, it was in the C&D canal at uh, Schaefer's, and they wouldn't answer on the radio. So I pulled up into the current, brought the boat to a stop. I jumped. I had my bow line and my stern line, and I jumped on the dock. And as soon as I jumped on the dock and the boat lost inertia, the bow kicked out, and the boat took off sideways into the current toward the bridge. So uh, it was a really scary situation. I just managed to get a line around one of the stanchions, and thank goodness the stanchion held. Uh, but I had to jump off the dock. The boat was the stern was about five feet from the dock, so I had to jump off the holy moly. Anyway, jump about five feet onto the lifelines. Wow. 
Greater wake. Yeah. Wow. This is every 10 to 15 minutes. Just mighty. Needless to say, shoot, spilled coffee everywhere. Just really trying not to do that. Okay, that's the first wave. They always have two waves of awake, so there'll be another one in a few seconds. Um, anyway, really, really crappy situation right now. Really emotionally defeated, really... I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I can keep doing this. To be honest with you guys, I I don't know. So, I don't want to give up on this dream. I sacrificed a lot to be out here. Um, went through a lot of work to be out here. And it's all sort of falling apart right now. So. Hey guys, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned next week to see how we deal with this whole catastrophe. And if you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button and you can see every video I release, usually every Friday. And if you do see a lot of value in the channel and it does something for you or you're learning from it, consider becoming a patron. Uh, Patreon allows you to send a couple of bucks uh, every Friday when I release a new episode. Other than that, guys, I will see you next week.